Whenever we bring up two different calendars, we're talking about the difference between what God speaks through the Hebrew calendar and what God speaks through the Gregorian calendar. When God speaks through the Gregorian calendar, it is a word through the sun. And whenever God speaks through the sun, he's speaking to the nations and he's speaking concerning natural events. When God speaks through the Hebrew calendar, he's speaking through the moon. That's a lunar calendar, right? Mm -hmm. And when you said sun, you meant S-U-N. S-U-N. Because I was thinking about the Son of God, too. So So we're talking about the sun sun? and the moon and the stars. Okay. And Jesus said that in the last days there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. Mm -hmm. Well, when God Mm -hmm. speaks through the sun, he's speaking to the nations. When God speaks through the moon, he's speaking to his people. And when God speaks through the stars, he's speaking to his children of covenant or his children Mm -hmm. of inheritance, actually. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you line up these two different calendars of the sun and the moon, the Gregorian and also the Hebrew calendar, what's amazing is how they converge. So the Gregorian is like the calendar that we follow here, 2020. So, and this is the year 2020. So, So 20 is a number that represents expectancy, but it's actually expectancy fulfilled. Okay, so expectancy is like currency to people who are prophetic. If you're Mm going to be a prophetic person, one of the things that you have to count on is the character in the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not the same as expectation. Expectation is like, okay, I got all these hoops and I demand God jump through it. No, that's not what Mm -hmm. he does. And you're just going to get heartbroken and then you're going to get mad at God over that. Mm -hmm. But when you learn to rely upon his character, Mm -hmm. when you say, you know what, I know my God and he's so beautiful and he's so incredible. And my expectancy is based upon his character. This is the year that those things are fulfilled. So for 20 years, Jacob waited for his inheritance of his of his wives, and then he saw it happen. Boom, he saw it happen, 2020, when you see things perfectly, right? Mm-hmm. There's a whole yes. bunch of 20s in the Bible that have to do with God finally showing up and saying, ta-da, it's finally here, it's going to happen. And this is a double portion year of 2020 that kicks off an anointing for an entire period of a, of a decade. 